Hey guys, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with a review for you of the BlackBerry Bold 9700 for T-Mobile. This is going to run you about 129 bucks on a two-year contract after rebate. So I always start off my phone reviews with a discussion of the call quality because no matter what these things do or how much they can handle, if they don't make good phone calls, they're going to be of little use to you. So T-Mobile service is going to vary from region to region. Where I am in Southern California, I have five bars of 3G and fantastic call quality. I had no white noise on my end, callers had no white noise on the other end, and it sounded almost a landline-esque uh, quality-wise. I had no drop calls in the time that I was testing this, and even transition from 3G down to edge, the call kept going uh, without being dropped, which was quite nice. So the big thing with the BlackBerry Bold 9700 got a few internal upgrades, but sort of the big upgrade, the one that I was the most skeptical about, was the loss of the track ball and the addition of this optical track pad. Um, admittedly, I wasn't quite sure how this was going to work. I've tested the track pad on a few other phones, more specifically the Samsung Epix, a little while ago, and I did not like how it worked. That was in a Windows Mobile setting. Uh, here we've got it, of course, in the BlackBerry OS. Actually, it becomes quite natural and works really nicely. Definitely took about a day to get used to it. If you're used to sort of the old trackballs, you're going to want to spend some time figuring out how much to swipe your finger left or right. You can adjust the sensitivity to sort of suit you the best. But actually, it became very natural and fit in really nicely with the BlackBerry operating system. You can see right here, and it's scrolling through menus, sort of one swipe up or one swipe left or right is all you need. You should have done with that scrolling of the ball all the time, you know, keep going like this and like this. Um, it just becomes a lot easier to navigate. So I actually was very impressed. So if you were worried about the trackpad, as I was, you could sort of put those concerns to rest. Uh, one of the places where I think it comes in most handy is in the browser. Now, certainly BlackBerry's browser is a bit on the anemic side. Although they did demonstrate a web kit, which really is the same uh, basis for the browser on the iPhone and the Android devices. So full HTML fidelity, they demonstrated this new browser at uh, this year's Mobile World Congress. There was no really set data when it was going to be released, but you can expect a better browsing experience. But for what you're going to get with this phone, the trackpad works quite well. As far as navigating, it's, it's much easier and it's a bit more natural scrolling, almost like you get on a laptop trackpad. And you can zoom in just by tapping it. And it has the same functionality as the ball did. You can push it in and activate uh, you know, zoom or some menu functions uh, that way. So I've been a, a pretty big BlackBerry fan for a while, but I haven't used a phone with a dedicated keyboard in a while. And I also forgot how much I, I missed it. The keyboard on the bold, I think, is going to be either a love-hate thing for you. But uh, for me, I really enjoyed it. The keyboard was very easy to use. Uh, there was a bit of a learning curve in sort of training my fingers where to hit. There are these metal sort of rods you can see extending through the keyboard. Oftentimes I would hit those metal pieces instead of the keys. But after about a day and a half to two days, I was hauling through it uh, pretty accurately. Let's go ahead and show you how the keyboard works here. Go ahead and start a new message. We'll close out of this. And I'll just type put in my standard, this is a test. So, pretty accurate. Uh, I typed very long emails on this. Like I said, it took me about a day or so to get used to it, uh, but I did very quickly. So if you're a really a, a bold user and you're used to the previous generation bold and you're upgrading from the curve, uh, the keyboard is going to be a very nice experience. The keys have a lot of tactile feedback. Sort of had a weird design, they're slanted in a few directions, but you will become a natural at it. So BlackBerry is really known for one thing, and a really one thing only, I think they do better than anybody else, and that is email. If you are an email power user, if you rely on email for everything and you need sort of file management and the ability to uh, arrange your, your emails and surf, track them and star them, and sort of set them up any way you'd like, uh, there is no better option than a BlackBerry, and the Bold 9700 sort of reaffirms that. Uh, I'm a dedicated iPhone user, and using the email client, the BlackBerry, really made me remember how bad the iPhone's email client is. Um, things came through using BlackBerry's push services. Uh, immediately, I was able to sort of star and flag messages, come back to them later, able to set up folders. It just made for a much more seamless experience. 
Um, although you're going to have to read those emails on a uh, relatively small screen. Um, I had to zoom the font in pretty big to be able to read, and I've got, I've got nice eyes um, that, <laughs> that work relatively well. So, you know, if you can deal with a little bit of a smaller screen and email is important to you, I'm going to be hard-pressed to find a device that does email better than the BlackBerry 9700. Uh, the 3.2 megapixel camera on the back with flash takes pictures about as good as you'd expect. Um, you know, average quality, nothing you're going to uh, hang on a wall. You're not going to be Ansel Adams with this thing. But you can take, you know, shots of your friends drunk at a bar and uh, send them off later as blackmail. Won't be a problem. Uh, there are a few other sort of additions to this phone. Um, there's inclusion of visual voicemail, uh, which is quite nice. So if you're used to, um, you know, visual voicemail on other devices, um, you'll have access to that, of course, on the Bold 9700. You also get a ton of apps in BlackBerry's app world that you can download and sort of uh, improve your device uh, as you'd like. So in conclusion, it's a BlackBerry, and it's probably the best BlackBerry out there. So if you know what you're getting yourself into, if email is important to you, you want a slim form factor, you need a QWERTY keyboard, you can deal with the bit smaller screen than you'd get on a dedicated touchscreen device like the Storm, you're not going to find much better than the Bold 9700. T-Mobile service was very strong. Uh, this is a, a platform that's been released on other carriers, so you can consider this review for those as well. But at least on T-Mobile service, it worked very, very quickly, um, and I was very impressed. So on a 1 to 5 scale, um, I really would be hard-pressed and not give it a 5. Um, it does exactly what, what you know it's going to do. It doesn't pretend to do anything differently. Uh, the BlackBerry OS is sort of tried and true. And if anybody's picking up a BlackBerry, you really know uh, what you're getting. So guys, hope you enjoyed. This is John Ranger from Techno Buffalo. Uh, for all your tech news, be sure to check out the website. And for exclusive content, give me a follow on Twitter, twitter.com slash John Fortlakers. I'm John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.